upstairs. Look, look how beautiful that is. When you grow up here, you don't really appreciate what you have until someone else shows it to you. I think it's a natural thing. But when I first met you, I, like, I, I wanted... I think my aim was like, who's the man behind the message? Like, how do we trust that message? I mean, yes, you've tackled India. And yes, like back then, you were like huge. And you are still huge, but like a completely different generation knows you and the same level of intimacy or their perception of how they know you. Then I just wanted to like take it back to the people. Like how do we take it back in the most simplest, organic way? So my, my main thing, even in forms of strategies and in forms of anything is like, who are you? You're a musician, you're a chef, you're all these photographer, a photographer, keep going, just keep going. Pilot. A pilot. Of so many different things. Oh, well, I know all this stuff. Helicopter, glider, jet, sing I mean, twin engine. Do you know what I mean? Did he taught some, me how to fly a helicopter. See, they want some hot chocolate or something? He was my instructor. The crew, they want some hot chocolate. Or... He taught you how to fly a helicopter? Yeah. Yeah. We have all these creative elements to play around with. Food is quite therapeutic. Photography is therapeutic. So all these things are elements of therapy and also speaking about something so powerful and beautiful of allowing people to tap in them. Gee, I must need a lot of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like you do. <laughs> and there's so much more to you. And how do we tell your story in your own way without people perceiving you in a certain way? I don't think I'm a very good person to tell my own story. I look at people's face when I say, well, I started talking about peace when I was four years old. I was addressing thousands of people and they just go, nah. And then after well, that, it's right. just like, they didn't hear a word I said. And in nine, nine years, I took over and I've been doing it for 50, and this is my 51st year. Huh? huh? You know, and so it just, I'm not, I'm not properly qualified to tell my own story. I always kind of envision, what if there was like just a camera, hidden camera, you know, like reality shows, and just see him doing what he does, because... I've been on that wavelength with yeah. you. Oh, I've been you know, for, for a long I'll, time. We can shoot that right now, because all it'll be is... <laughs> <laughs> Tinkering is something that Prem is really good at, and that is he can take a car take it apart, but make sure every single nut, bolt, screw, every little piece is labeled. Because he said, when you go to put it back together, it won't go back together, together the right way unless you really are clear with what you're doing. And he said, when I do that, I can really think through things. So something's always happening, but he's expressing his creativity. That, that's when you rebuild an engine. Yeah. That's when yeah. I was rebuilding an yeah. engine. It was like, yeah, yeah you think. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're looking at a 29 year old who can't cook. And when you look at them, I'm sorry. That's when I re you rebuild an engine. <laughs> okay. I, I'm not qualified to tell my own story. Yeah. You know, I think what somebody gets to that? see me yeah. in uh, somebody from neutral eyes that is, uh, is the person, not me. Capture it. Because then the finished product is amazing. Amazing. But you'd have to speed up the film, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Just, 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 and then you've got your finished product and it's it's glorious. It's wonderful. But what went into that? So much care and thought and and yet at the same time, he's never leaving what his his focus is, no matter what he's doing. Mm. It's always about this message and reaching people. And it's the heart behind everything he does. And yet what he's doing is amazing. You no, know? the photography, the, the, the pictures, the music, the rebuilding of a car. Um, it's, it's fun to watch. 
it's humbling. It's like, more to you, my man. So how do you, like, how do you handle him, like, traveling or... Well, you know, he told me in the very beginning, I love you, I will take care of you, but you need to know that this is what I'm here to do. And I felt so comfortable and confident with him. And he always would make sure that the children and I, we would be together. We would somehow meet up and he would come back and be with us as much as he could and yet not abandoning what he is here to do. He made great effort to make sure that he was there for birthdays and Valentine's Day and yeah. Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and birthday, I mean, just everything, anniversaries. And then he sat down with us not that long ago and said, you know, things are really, they're speeding up. And I might not be able to be back for your birthday, but you go ahead and celebrate birthday with mommy. And then when I come back, we'll have another one. And they said, okay, we get two birthdays. <laughs> We're cool. It was hard. It wasn't easy for them. And to try to explain to them, why isn't daddy here? And they were little children. It's like, well, daddy's doing something very beautiful for human beings. And I, I, one of our daughters said, I don't care about human beings. I want my dad here. Where do you dig deep from to be like, okay. Knowing what he's doing, knowing yeah. what I know, I understand. We get so distracted from ourselves. And here's someone that reminds us. And I know that's why people start crying because they already know that. And it's like, oh my God, I'm hearing you because you're speaking to my heart. Yeah. And it's so powerful. So I hear what you're saying too, that there's a multi-dimensional being here, very talented and wonderful in so many ways. And I just would love for people to see more views of, of I mean your pictures make me stop like they, they are so beautiful and I'm such like a busy person but like I, I feel like you can communicate this message of peace in like different aspects of you know whether it be music whether it be food whether it be your photography and and I think that we should actively explore those this is the time Prem You've done some like amazing groundbreaking things and like and, and and this is the time. This is the time of no fear, this is the time of just like let's just leap. I know you've met like I agree. a crazy little bumble, but like I agree, I agree, agree. But the aviation is a whole huge part of his life, and the reason is so he can get to those places. Yeah. For that, it's not just oh yeah, I just want to go out and fly. No, it's always that purpose behind what he does. But for me, I see that Prem takes it and he does it as perfectly as he can. Always, you know, to take it. When you land with him, I tell you, there have been times I didn't know we were on the ground. I didn't know we were on the hey, ground. Hey. I'm watching this little movie and it's all of a sudden, what, we've landed? You're kidding, because you don't even feel, you don't even, it just slides on. And his co-pilots are like, how do you do that? You know? When I listen to your talk sometimes, I'm just like, so I always like to use analogies. It's like, it's like floating in the air and like, damn, ooh, that's good. Ooh, damn, that line was good. I know I asked you this before, but like, you are good with your words, my man. You are like <laughs> the Shakespeare of now. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> with this, a whole lot of like, <laughs> peace message, but you just woo, you just woo people. Did he woo you? I was mesmerized when I first heard him. It was like he was talking to me. And I was way back in the audience. It was in Los Angeles, way back there. But I just felt like, oh my God, he's talking to me. It was my heart. And there was that recognition. And it's like, oh my God. And I love the way that he can weave the message and weave it and expand and bring it back home again. And then in the end, he will bring what he first started out with and tie it up beautifully. So it's like, for me, it's like you said, Shakespeare, living poetry, po poetry in motion, just, just so beautiful. You're laughing and crying at the same time. You're crying, but you're, 
you're smiling so big and and it's magic. So when did you know that actually this is my person? Like I was put on earth to when I first when I first heard him. When I went to that big auditorium, it's just like that's it. He's present and he's he's given himself to me in a beautiful way yeah. that I feel content knowing that it's him. He's yeah. him, you know? You can bank on him. <laughs> it's